I'm Joshua Skid Pro. Today we're doing our quick start guide on our landscape rake. The idea is to showcase the rock hound and give you some quick pointers to get you up and running in less time. Come along and we'll see what we got. Okay, the first thing we do, of course, hook up the quick touch plate, hook up the couplers. Always got to make sure we have protected hose routing. We make the hoses a little longer because we have to dump the rock bucket, which we'll show you later, or the container bucket. And so you've got to be careful. We can get into some pinch points. That's a quick way to shorten your day. So here we got an area that hasn't been hardly raked. So some of these rocks are really pushed down in the in the soil. Normally we'd hardly rake this first and it'd be a little fluffier and easier to get in, but that's okay. This is about as tough a circumstances as you get. So we'll go ahead and give an experiment on it. Hit the hydraulics. I put my hydraulics in continuous flow. Now you can see my chain bar is going. Now I'll rev up my engine RPM. Doesn't have to be more than about half RPM on this attachment. I like to raise my bucket up a little. You can kind of feel it. So here I'll show you what's all of, there's all the way down, there's all the way flat, but my heel is too far down. So I raise it up and I kind of tilt the bucket forward. And you can see the, the top rake bars, the hood is, has a tendency to jump a little bit. And that means you got the teeth down good. And you can also see there what you're doing. You can see that the teeth are in. Uh, obviously you don't want to put a ton of down pressure. There's adjustment on each skid shoe uh, if you want to get more aggressive or less aggressive. But you can see the huge difference between the area we went and the area we didn't. The slower you go, the smaller the rock it'll pick up. But conversely, the smaller, or I should say, the more dirt it'll pick up as well. And some guys, you know, don't like it. Obviously, we have that serrated bottom bucket, which helps a bunch to alleviate some dirt. But the problem is, um, you go slow, you'll get lots of rocks, but you will pick up a little dirt. So there's a trade-off. The faster you go, you'll miss some rocks, but you won't get as much dirt in. So that's just dependent on personal preference there. Here you can see two really good paths, nice and clean, huge difference. And I just roll it back. Now, when I go to my area to dump the bucket, I'll stop my rake bars, and I'm going to reverse the flow. And by reversing flow, there's a valve, or a valve block that diverts the oil. just hit backwards on my hydraulics and you can see the hood comes up and then you simply dump the bucket and you're good to go now I'll go back down now when I start my rake bar this will settle I got in continuous flow, I hit my continuous flow, it settles the hood, that hinged hood works together to give you good clearance and give some kind of flow. So now we're ready to go pick more rock. As I mentioned when we were operating, we have side skid runners or skid shoes. Those can be adjusted down or up. That allows you to tailor fit how fine of rock you want to get how small of rock, how much soil, in combination with the speed of the rake bars and the speed of the machine is really what determines how small of a rock is picked up and how much soil you take with the rock. There's a, quite a few grease cirques on here that require grease daily. The rake bars have three on this side. The hinges both have two on each side. The chain needs to be greased daily and there's two more grease Zerks over here on all the bearings. All the bearings and the cylinder pivot pins have the grease points. So a lot of grease points on this thing, something to keep in mind as well. 
That wraps up our quick start guide. I hope it helps you get out in the field and enjoy your attachment sooner. As always, our promise to you, better products, better service, happier customers.